Let's get a look at your weather forecast here, everybody, just after the 9 o'clock hour here in the morning on Saturday. And how about all this sunshine? Boy, it's chilly outside, but uh, the sun makes it uh, look and feel better and that sunshine will be warming us up a bit this afternoon into the lower half of the 30s. Now keep in mind the average high for this time of year uh, 38 degrees I believe so we will land below that but we will make up for it tomorrow upper 40s to perhaps right around 50 degrees by day's end on Sunday. Uh, no big storms in the offing over the next seven days at least and uh, there's a possibility folks that by later next weekend when I say later next weekend that would be Sunday a week from tomorrow that we could in fact have our warmest temperature of the year thus far. We'll see if that plays out that way, but the chance does exist uh, that towards that next Sunday and then the following uh, couple days into that uh, next work week. Temperatures today, yeah, we'll call it 33 in GR, mostly sunny skies. The recent Arctic air mass retreating back into Canada. Watch those blues and purples start to lift up through the New England states, and then in comes this Pacific air mass, which will have its uh, the bearings. It will make its mark on West Michigan for tomorrow at that big jump up on the thermometer. You can see this cutoff low over oh, northwestern Mexico into southern Arizona. We'll see how that plays out. That moves into Texas, kind of weakens, and then a trough of low pressure over Canada kind of dives down ahead of that. So we will get marginally cooler, folks, Monday and Tuesday. That system really does fall apart as it moves across the southern states. We'll get slightly cooler back down into the low to mid 40s for Monday and Tuesday, uh, Wednesday and Thursday. Kind of interesting. We'll watch this into the midweek period. There could be a little spoke of milder air coming in on west or southwest winds that could elevate us back well into the 40s there at some point this work week. I would think more particularly based on the models this morning will be on Thursday and then another lobe of cooler air comes down for Friday. But uh, some warmer air that uh, was seen on that last part of that graphic over Texas, the desert southwest, that tries to expand northeastward later in the period. And that's the reason why I think next Sunday or that following Monday could bring about our mildest temperatures of the year thus far. I don't think that lasts a real long time, but it's something to look out for for a couple day stretch. Anyhow, look at the maps now. The white lines on the map uh, showing you the isobars are lines of constant pressure. When they get close together, that's indicative of winds that are going to be on the stronger side and they will be directed out of the south to southwest tomorrow. Some additional clouds do come about on Sunday. These are high level types that will filter and dim sunshine, but I think enough radiation and especially with these southerly winds that will be brisk that we're going to send temperatures to around 50. Eventually overnight Sunday into Monday, a few showers can creep into sections, especially I-94 and southward. So we'll watch that by Monday afternoon. It goes drier and I think overall that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday time step will be partly sunny at times, perhaps mostly cloudy. No big weather events. Rain nor snow will be shifting on through uh, later Wednesday into Thursday. There could be another shower. Oh, maybe a snowflake can get mixed in as some colder air comes in eventually late Thursday and Friday, but it will not be accumulating at 38 degrees. And then again, if I could extend that out further into next weekend and beyond, I think we uh, do see a substantial warm up once again.